Hey friends, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews channel. In this video today, I will review an all-round complete CarPlay AI box adapter from the MIC brand. I remember testing a couple of previous models from this brand and I really, really liked it. Especially the 508 model, which is still in one of my top 5 all-time favorite models. This new MIC model is called CarPlay HDMI Pro. It runs on the Android 12 operating system and is powered by the QCM665 processor. It's got the 6 GB of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card or a USB flash drive or even an external hard disk. You can connect this device with internet by inserting a SIM card or by connecting it with your mobile's hotspot. You also get an HDMI port on this adapter, so you can connect it with your car's backseat entertainment screens or even with your TV or monitor. You get the standard wireless iPhone CarPlay as well as the wireless Android Auto functions. Plus, you can also download and install apps from the Play Store or the APK stores. This device is packed with so many features and I can't wait to test this in my car. But first, let's do a quick unboxing to check out the contents in the box. All right, friends, so this is all you get uh, inside this box. So you basically get uh, the CarPlay user manual or the user guide. Uh, this will help you to connect this device in your car and then with your uh, mobile. Uh, you get this cable to connect the device with your uh, car's USB. Now you get with this cable, you actually get this converter. So originally it's a type A and type C. The type C goes into the device and the type A connects with the USB plug in your car. Um, now if your car has a type C connection like mine, I would just need to connect this adapter and then connect this with my car and this end with the device. All right, and then finally, you've got this MIC CarPlay HDMI Pro device. Um, now, looks very nice. You've got this nice design. Now, this ring, this is an LED ring. So as soon as you connect this with power, this uh, lights up and looks quite nice, especially at night. Um, as you can see, it's a very small, compact kind of a device. It's not very heavy. Um, it's a rectangular design. You'll see most of the devices either square or rectangular in the market. Um, now, in terms of the connections, so on this side, you get two uh, inputs. So this is a USB-A flash drive to connect the USB stick or your external hard disk. Then you get a mini HDMI in. Now you can connect um, your this device with the TV or a monitor. So this is a HDMI out. Um, and then on the other side, you get three connections. This is type C for power. So you connect this cable with this. And then you have this for the SD memory card. This is a micro SD card slot. And then this one is the SIM card slot. So if you've got a micro SD card uh, that you want to connect, you can just simply insert here like this and uh, just put, push this in like that. And then you can also put a SIM card. Now the two ways to connect this device with internet, you can either put a SIM card or you can connect this device with your mobile's hotspot. All right, um, so these are the connections on both sides. Um, it's a small, compact, lightweight device. At the back, you have this spacing for air vent so the chip inside doesn't heat up. Um, all in all, uh, quite a nice looking, compact, lightweight device. Um, now, let me uh, take it to my car, connect it, and then we start testing the different functions and features of this new MIC CarPlay HDMI Pro AI box adapter. All right, friends, so I'm in my car. I've got uh, the MIC device with me. Um, I'll connect this with the USB uh, of my car. But at the same time, I would like to see how long does this device take to start and get to the main home page or the Android system page on the screen. So I've got my stopwatch ready here as well. So now let me connect this with the USB. All right, so let's start the timer. All right, so it takes about 30, 31 seconds for the device to start and get to the main home page or the landing page of, uh, of this device that looks like this. All right, friends, so this is the main home page or the landing page or the user interface on this MIC uh, CarPlay HDMI Pro device. Um, you know, the nice thing about this is that you've got these big icons, so they've got eight icons on the screen. Um, and, um, you know, 
and it looks very nice it's not very cluttered which is quite nice um, now a couple of things before we start reviewing this device one is that uh, you know this adapter works in cars that support wired carplay so you know you need to make sure that your car supports the wired carplay system before you actually buy this device the other thing is that uh, this device is ideal for cars with the touch screen like mine but if you don't have a screen that is touch then you can still use this device the only thing that you will have to do is actually get one of these Bluetooth remote controls or air mouse remote controls I'll, I'll put a link to the, one of these in the description below but you know this is ideal for cars without a touch screen you know one of those cars with a knob uh, settings or a control or the steering wheel controls for the screen um, so it, it looks very nice uh, you know as you can see it will help you navigate through the screen and you can you know pick up um, different applications you can move from one screen to another um, you know perfect for cars without a touch screen so one good thing with this uh, device is that it can be used in both types of cars all right so this is the user interface as i said um, now you know i'll give you a quick overview of the layout so what you have on the left side is obviously the date and and connectivity on you've got three applications these are the recently used or the ones that are currently running and then you've got the home button and then this is the back button and then on the main screen you get to see eight uh, applications then obviously you can change these applications if you want if you uh, just uh, have some of your favorites on this page but you can also swipe this to left and get to see all the other applications that are pre-installed on this uh, device now I have not installed any extra ones um, so you can see all these are the uh, are the pre-installed ones like Netflix uh, you've got uh, YouTube navigation and everything but you can certainly go, go to the Play Store or to the APK stores to download more applications applications on this device this device comes with massive 128 gigs of internal storage so you know lots of space to download even heavy applications on this device so again very nice user interface not cluttered easy to use you can connect an external air mouse if you want um, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll start testing the performance of this device we'll test a few of the applications and some important functionality now most of the applications on this uh, uh, require internet to run things like YouTube or Netflix or some of the other applications and and for that you need to connect the device with internet now you've got two options to connect it with internet you can either insert a sim card onto this device this adapter or you can simply connect it to your mobile's hotspot like I've done it I right, so just go to the settings you can go to the network and then go to the Wi-Fi settings look for your mobile's hotspot and and connect it with your mobile's hotspot that's the uh, you know easy way to do it the only problem with that is that it will drain your mobile's uh, battery um, so but if you want convenience simply insert a sim card onto this to use internet and data so that's another important thing to keep in mind now let's start testing some of the different applications the first app that I would like to test is the most frequently used application which is YouTube all right so this is the app this is the user interface of the app and uh, looks nice um, the good thing is that when you move up all the the thumbnails get uploaded instantly it doesn't take uh, much time yeah so looks nice um, so let's uh, try to play one of the videos um, let's play this video here all right let's blow this up to full screen all right so the other nice thing with this adapter is once you connect it with your car you can actually the, the adapter gets connected with the sound system of the car as well so you can uh, use the steering wheel controls in your car to to operate it uh, like if i want to increase the volume i simply increase it like this you know people like you really existed they don't there we go. So that's another very nice feature. Um, now, as you can see, YouTube is playing uh, quite nicely. Uh, you can um, change the the output resolution and the quality of the YouTube application depending on the screen uh, in your car. If it's a big, high resolution screen, then you can make it higher. Uh, I think this is running at 720p, which is good enough. You can see it's very, very clear. Uh, but if you want, you can uh, you know take it up to all the way 1080p. But I would say in, in a small screen of my car, 720p is good enough. It's extremely clear. Uh, but the important thing to test with YouTube is that whether the app is running uh, smoothly. As you can see, it doesn't buffer, it doesn't lag. The colors are nice, everything. And the other thing to see is that if we double click, does it skip? And how much time does it take to skip? See? 
it's instant. All right, so the YouTube app is, uh, is working quite nicely. All right, so this device comes with built-in GPS system. So you don't actually have to connect any external GPS antennas. You've got the built-in GPS system inside the adapter and you can use navigation. Uh, now, uh, the pre-installed application is, uh, is the map, it's uh, Google Maps um, on this device, but you can obviously install other navigation apps as per your preference. So things like you can install Waze or Yango Maps, any other application, and you can make that as a default navigation app. So. The app is very quick to load as you can see and uh, we can you know just go to any of the places let's pick up any of the locations and uh, let's see if it takes us there you go and then start there you go so very quick to load you can uh, switch on the the audio guidance as well um, but the nice thing is it, it looks quite nice um, very good so screen is quite responsive as well so again navigation is one of those apps that works uh, nicely on most of these adapters that i've tested um, so no issues with this one now the other nice thing with the, with this adapter is uh, there is this function called split screen uh, which is one of my favorite functions in these adapters because it will give you an option of having two applications running side by side at the same time so for example if you if you want to do this with navigation so you've got navigation running on one side and then you just go there and simply pick another application like this one so then you will have two apps running on the side um, with so navigation on the left side and YouTube running on the right side and the good thing is both these uh, applications are active you can see the YouTube video is playing and then on the navigation you can actually change anything you can search for other locations if you want so a very very handy a very useful uh, feature on this device of this you know uh, multi-screen or a split screen view all right so you know there are so many other applications on this uh, adapter things like netflix um, you know you can install disney plus hbo max you can also install the iptv applications and watch live tv on this device itself um, now you know i would not recommend the drivers to watch any video content while driving you know just for the safety reasons but if you've got your family friends with you they can watch something um, you know on on the screen and with the split screen option you can actually have navigation or anything well working on the left side that the driver can can follow or and on the right side you have you know media playing so that your uh, family friends uh, you know watch that um, the other nice feature is that uh, there is this led ring on top of the of this adapter um, and you can actually with the led settings here you can actually go and change the color combination you can have rainbow colors or you can have red yellow whatever you want this is just a cosmetic feature it doesn't impact the the performance of the adapter uh, but it looks quite nice especially at night um, you know the colors are quite nice especially the the changing rainbow colors they're quite good um, you know again you can install so many different applications uh, you can install your own things social media facebook tiktok instagram it's just like a, having a tablet or a smart tv in your car um, so that's with all the applications now the most important thing with with uh, these kind of adapters is uh, the android auto and the carplay functions so now let's uh, try to see if the carplay wireless carplay connects and uh, let's see how long does that take uh, so what you need to do is basically with the carplay you click on the carplay function uh, it takes us to this page this is the connections page and then what we need to do is actually go to the iPhone and on the iPhone go to the settings within settings open Bluetooth and then we should have a new device on my Bluetooth as car kit all right so we click on this all right so it has started the connection process as you can see it on the screen in some of the cases it might ask you for a few messages on your mobile uh, but if not like this one it takes a few seconds for it to connect and take you to the main page now in my case I was running Spotify and that's why it has taken me to this page otherwise it should have taken me to this uh, landing page of Apple CarPlay now the good thing with this connection is uh, one it was very quick to connect and the other thing is this is a one-time connection you don't have to connect it with your Bluetooth device every time you sit in the car uh, you just need to establish the connection once and then 
whenever you come in the car as long as the bluetooth on your mobile is on it will automatically detect the connection and take you to apple carplay or give an option of going directly into the apple carplay user interface that looks like this um, so that's a very nice thing you know very quick to uh, to connect honestly i've tested some other devices it took uh, takes a few more seconds but in this case it was quite quick um, now this is a standard uh, user interface of apple carplay and i won't be explaining that um, you know this is about uh, the adapter I just wanted to see how long does it take to connect the wireless CarPlay. Um, so very quickly, the, this is the layout. You've got the split screen view of the Apple CarPlay. You've got some shortcut navigation uh, applications here. You've got navigation running and the media playing on the right side. If you click on these dots, it would take you to the full app view. These are all the apps that are available to you through the Apple CarPlay platform. Um, and you can you know, use any of these applications you have. You can use voice assistant like Siri to make calls, listen to music, or go to different locations on the map. You don't have to actually click on the screen. You just use your voices, voice guidance to operate this device. All right, so now let's uh, try to connect to wireless Android Auto system. So what we need to do is go to this icon, Android Auto, click on it, and then we will get the instructions on the screen how to do it. Basically, on your Android mobile, simply go to the Bluetooth section and add a new Bluetooth device. Um, and then it will give you uh, a list of all the available devices. Uh, you need to pick up uh, the car kit, pair the device, and that's it. So again, a very quick process of uh, connecting uh, to the wireless Android auto system. And then in a few seconds, it will start the connection and show the Android auto homepage on the screen like this one. Again, very quick to connect. And this is a one time process, just like the Apple CarPlay. You just need to connect this, uh, the device with your mobile once through the Bluetooth. And then every time you come to your car, it will automatically detect the connection and get to take you to the Android auto system as long as the Bluetooth on your mobile is on. All right, so this is the main homepage um, of um, the Android Auto system. Again, I will not explain the different functions and features of Android Auto. All I wanted to test was whether the wireless Android Auto is working on this device. All right, so the last thing I would like to test on this uh, adapter is this function called mobile screen mirroring. Um, this function allows you to, you know, mirror the screen of your mobile onto the screen of your car. Um, now, this is available for both iPhone as well as Android mobiles. So we go to this mirroring uh, application and then we get an option of which mobile we want to use. So I'll use my iPhone, but you can do it on Android as well. So as, you, as soon as you do that, you get all the instructions on how to connect that. Uh, basically, what you need to do is uh, just make sure that uh, the device and your mobile are on the same network um, like mine. And then basically just go to the command center, click on mobile screen mirroring, and then you'll find this uh, device appearing. This is the name, ZJ AirPlay. Click on this. Here you go. All right, so very nice. Um, there is this tiny, tiny bit of lag latency. As you can see, when I move my mobile screen, it takes a microsecond for the screen on the, uh, on the car uh, to move. So that's it friends, this was a quick review of this uh, MIC CarPlay HDMI Pro uh, CarPlay AI box. Um, you know, this adapter works quite nicely. We've tested all the different functions and features. Uh, quite happy with the speed, uh, the speed of uh, moving uh, from one app to another, speed of uh, connecting to the CarPlay and the Android Auto system, speed of opening applications. Um, you know, all the video streaming apps work quite nicely, very, very smooth. We have tested a couple of, uh, you know, different previous models from this brand and um, those worked quite nice very very smooth absolutely no issues so the durability is really really good with this brand so guys if you like this if you want to buy this brand simply go to the link in the description of the video it will take you directly to the official store where you can buy this very nice mic carplay hdmi pro carplay ai box adapter that's it friends, if you like my content, you can go and support this channel with the super thanks icon below. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys.